From the fluffy rabbits to various varieties of fish, let's take a look at the most profitable animals that you can breed for money. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is chickens. You know what? These birds are super low maintenance. Plus, they don't need a ton of space. But don't just rush out and buy any old chicken. Honestly, the right thing to do is do your research and find out the ideal breed that will maximize your profit. Now, another plus point about raising chickens is that they aren't picky eaters. I mean, they literally gob up kitchen scraps, weeds, and any bugs they come across. So you don't have to break the bank by buying specialized food for them. Still, the best part about raising them is that they're egg laying machines. After all, Eggs are always in high demand for both commercial and household purposes. Several workers manually place the eggs in casings. Each casing contains 30 eggs. The casings are stacked together to prepare them for transport to the factory. And if you're feeling fancy, you can even sell free range organic local eggs at a premium price. I'm actually talking up to $6 per dozen. Well, let's not forget about chicken meat here. I mean, some breeds only take two months to grow. So you can sell those meat chickens for between $4 and $7 per pound. But wait, there's more. Chickens also produce some pretty valuable byproducts. First off, their manure is a hot commodity for gardeners. Besides this, you can even sell their feathers for a good sum. Raising chickens is a no-brainer if you want to earn some extra cash. And just like chickens, the next animal is another top choice to make a profit. I'm talking about goats. When there's a lot of grass available and it's warmer and you don't have to worry about kids being born on icy ground. So it really depends on your climate and your preferences for management. For starters, goat meat is where it's at. These animals are pretty inexpensive to raise and they don't need a ton of grazing space since they'll just eat about anything. That means you can keep them on a smaller plot of land and still make a living. What's more, goat milk is another product that's gaining popularity. In fact, it's easier to digest than cow's milk and offers a ton of health benefits. Plus, it can be hard to find. This means you can charge a pre premium price of up to $4 per quart. But honestly, the real money makers are the value added products. I mean, you can make cheese, soap, lotion, and even cosmetics from goat's milk. You can guess that these products are always in high demand among people looking for organic options. And let me tell you, a single bar of goat's milk soap can sell for up to $7. Exactly, that's some serious cash. But wait, there's even more. You can also rent your goats to people who want to clear overgrown areas of the land. And get this, some folks even pay $250 per day for a herd of dozen goats to graze their land. Okay, we just learned that goats can earn you some handsome cash. Still, if you're looking for another workable option, it can be bees. Honestly, the best thing about them is that they don't require daily tending. and they can be pretty simple to raise, unlike the other animals I've mentioned so far. If you're lucky, you may even be able to get them for free. Of course, you'll need to invest in some equipment like hive boxes, gloves, and a bee suit. I know these can be costly, but once you have your bees settled in, you can start to reap the rewards. What's more, the demand for local, pure honey has skyrocketed in recent years. You won't believe that people are even willing to pay more than $5 per gallon. Besides this, you can also rent out your hives and bees to local food producers to pollinate their crops. Yep, that's actually a thing. Obviously, this is done to increase the crop yield. And guess what? Farmers often agree to pay a rental fee of around $25 per hive. But let's not forget about honeycomb. In fact, it's becoming a popular item in the culinary industry. Plus, this delicious tree can fetch prices of around $20 per pound. Now, the next animal might surprise you. It's none other than rabbits. Yes, you've heard that right. These cute and cuddly creatures can be more than just pets because the selection of good breeders plays a very important role in so far as breeding massively this kind of animals. In fact, they can be raised for both their meat and fur, and even their waste can be used as organic fertilizer. Besides this, they're relatively easy to care for and require minimal space. Now, rabbit meat is a valuable product. 
it's actually a lean protein that is rich in vitamins and minerals. Plus, it's considered a delicacy in many countries. This means that you can fetch a high price for it. I'm talking up to $6 per pound. Additionally, their fur is used in various products like hats, gloves, and scarves. Angora rabbits are particularly well suited for their soft, fluffy fur. They can produce up to one pound of fur every three months. And you'd be surprised to know that it's sold for $15 per ounce. What's more, rabbit waste is an excellent fertilizer preferred by gardeners. After all, it's rich in essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So you can also sell it to make a profit. Well, moving on to the next possible option, which is ducks. <laughs> For starters, a mature duck can go for around 10 bucks, depending on its breed and location. But if you're looking for a quicker profit, you could also sell cute little chicks for four bucks each. People just love ducklings. What can I say? Hold on, there's more. Laying ducks are very popular right now, and so are their eggs. In fact, their eggs are bigger than chicken eggs and filled with minerals and vitamins. So you can use these eggs for hatching new ducklings or munching on them. I mean, it's pretty hard to find fresh local duck eggs in many areas. That means they can go for some high prices. Incredible, right? Not to mention the fact that you can also sell duck feathers and down. Trust me, sleeping on a pillow or cushion filled with duck down is like sleeping on a cloud. Plus, individual duck feathers have unique patterns, making them popular for crafting. Some feathers can even go for as much as 10 bucks. Besides ducks, another valuable animal you can consider breeding is a fish. As you know, we started this blog with breeding of all these types of guppies, the smallies, we also have engaged in goldfish breeding. Actually, fish farming is attracting a lot of attention nowadays. Believe it or not, there's a huge demand for high quality koi carp. While the price of these fish can depend on their skin color, shape, and pattern. But trust me, they can go from anywhere between 15 bucks and a whopping $5,000 per fish. Yes, that's some serious cash. Well, before you dive headfirst into fish breeding, you'll need to have enough space to accommodate them. After all, they are pretty particular about their environment. So make sure that they have plenty of room to swim and grow. What's more, there's an increasing demand for animal protein doubling. In fact, the global market of freshwater and saltwater fish is predicted to reach $270 billion in the upcoming decades. So, who knows your fish hobby might end up turning into a big money enterprise. Sure, fish can help you generate high profit, but hold on, because the next option is even more lucrative. I'm talking about cows. Not only can you sell the meat, milk, and skin of these bovine beauties for handsome cash, but their waste can also earn you a good profit as a fertilizer and fuel source. Now here's the catch. If you're planning on raising cows, you're going to need some serious acreage. After all, one cow alone needs an entire acre for grazing purposes. So you'll need at least two acres of land to properly raise a herd. And that's not even counting the space you'll need for their barn, water source, and plenty of shade out in the pasture. But if you're up for the challenge, the reward can be the sweetest of them all. And that's all on the most profitable animals to breed for money.